Hello, everyone, and welcome to this month's episode of the Principal's Office. I am here with my co-host, Mr. Jared Warren. And today is a special episode because we have some CTE professionals that we're going to be talking to today. Mr. Warren, what do you think about this today? Absolutely. So thank you, Mr. Munford. And as we wrap up CTE month, we wanted to uh, bring our uh, staff members and students on to the principal's office to highlight them and for them to share with us and all of you what what they do on a daily basis and what their passions are and and why they're here and what brings them to MCTS. So um, I'm going to start off with... um, Uh, My staff member, Dylan McKinney, and uh, his student, Alex Fernandez, who Dylan is the instructor in our auto collision program. So, Alex, Mr. McKinney, welcome, and um, great to have you guys here. So, let me just start off by asking you this. So, Mr. McKinney, what brings you to MCTS? What brings you to the SiteBet campus? And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Great. Well, thanks for having us. So uh, (laughs) my name is Dylan McKinney, and I'm a previous graduate of our SciPec campus in the class of 2009. Uh, Attended the collision repair program because like a lot of students that we might encounter here, I wasn't finding that I learned in the the same way as everybody else. So when I came to this school, it helped me learn those skills that I felt that I was struggling with things like math and English and uh, just your simple curriculum at your regular high school. And this helped me find my place. And I just always thought I liked cars and thought it'd be something I'd enjoy just to get me out of high school and turned out to be a passion and been chasing it for 15 years. And I just enjoyed every minute of it. It it did a lot for me, not only just helping pay the bills, but, you know, finding my course in life. And then the opportunity showed itself to uh, to come back here and to share my passion with the younger generation and just wasn't something I felt that I could pass up. I saw an opportunity that I had to take and it's been awesome. I'm in my uh, second year of running the program and it has been an incredible experience so far getting to work with all the students, kids like Alex uh, to just come here. Some of them might not necessarily know they have a passion uh, to do this like I did. And they come here and they might find a, a different way to learn or a different way to work. But for some, it can definitely be a, uh, a spark to get them moving in the right direction. Absolutely. No, you're 100 percent right. And I got to give you a big shout out because your students um, are engaged every single day. Um, you clearly have that passion and you're sharing that passion with them. It clearly emanates throughout your uh, throughout your shop. I greatly um, appreciate that. Absolutely. I love coming down to your shop and seeing your kids and you work. And without further ado, Mr. Fernandez, how are you? I'm good. How are you? All right, good. So, Alex, what do you think of MCTS, um, your your experience so far in the auto collision program? And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, first question, what I think about MCTS, uh, I like it. It's about, I feel like it better than my home school. In my home school, I, they say I don't have ADHD, but I got a lot of energy, so I can't sit still. So <laughs> at my home school, it's more like just reading books and literally just reading books. All we do is read books. So over here, you know, we get hands-on experience. You know, we get Mr. McKenney. He's kind of funny sometimes, not really. Um, <laughs> he thinks and, he's funny. <laughs> and, you know, we get to learn stuff and we get an opportunity that not a lot of people get, you know. We get offered on the CTE program, right? CIE. 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 CIE my fault. Yeah. CIE. Um, and we get the opportunity to get a job and, you know, just do what we like. And yeah. Yeah. And Alex is learning firsthand. Same thing I've learned by fire. It's uh, education's a lot of abbreviation. You know, it's CIE, CTE, yeah. ACT. Yeah. I, my fault. You, I thought you it was know, CTE. Right. They just, it gets ahead of you. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, so, Alex, after this program, after you complete this program, what is what is your future hold? What do you think? What do you foresee well, yourself? I I, in, um, I enrolled in UTI for the auto technology and BMW fast track program. So, oh, good. Hopefully, you know that works out. I'll get a job at BMW. Probably be like a, a, a auto tech at BMW. But that's what I have planned for now. And and That's I, awesome. I want to just chime in on that. You know, part of the reason I, I wanted Alex to be in on this with us is because I feel that he has a way of relating the things that we teach to um, to the students that he works with. You know, when I teach them about sanding, you know, you want to sand 45 degree angle right to left, left to right. And I think Sam will appreciate this analogy. Yeah. 
some of the kids look at me like I'm crazy. And then Alex looks at me and he's like, you mean like the old Windows screensaver, right? <laughs> right? You guys all remember? And I, I just think it's really cool how he can kind of take those crazy things I say where to me it's just second nature. And he relates it in a way that I'm going to use for years to come. I guarantee I will use that analogy in my lessons next year when I'm telling them because it's a way that kids will relate to it in something that I might not have thought of. I think that's a really cool part of what we do. Here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and I, I think just to, you know, Alex, based on what you said and Mr. McKinney with your passions, if you're passionate about, passionate about something, it's going to fuel your drive. And if you have that drive, you're not going to stop until you're satisfied. And I think that is something that, you know, a lot of kids here on our campus um, uh, develop uh, through um, our programs. And I think we have evidence right here. So, you know, Thank you both for joining us today. Um, love having you. And, um, you know, keep up the great work. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep getting after it. But um, We're looking forward just, to it. Yeah, you got it. Um, so, Mr. Munford, that was from SitePAC. I'm going to hand it over to you so you can tell us a little bit about Aspen Pink. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And, you know, very exciting to hear uh, what Mr. McKinney and Alex are doing over there at your campus. Um, you know, we over here, we're working just as hard. And I know you guys are all supportive of each other. But Mr. Kil Katowski, talk to us a little bit about why you came to MCTS and, and also talk to us about your program a little bit. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, Oh, so my program is computer game programming, and uh, it is kind of a, a dream to be in. I started teaching myself how to program at about eight years old with a computer that didn't even have a mouse. And um, by the time I got to high school, I was taking every class I could get. And um, even in college, I, I just was majoring in that and, uh, and going full bore to, uh, to go and, and be a computer programmer. I wanted to just work in a basement somewhere for 20 years and then retire and, and then come to teach. Um, over the course of college, I realized that my internships weren't lining up and that I didn't really have the connection to a job that I wanted and um, that the market was looking kind of saturated, actually, and it would be hard to stand out. So um, I, uh, I had some, some hard thoughts and then decided to switch gears and go directly into teaching. So um, in the course of doing that, I ended up in technology education, which is uh, a little bit away from computer science. Um, I ended up teaching woodshop at Nottingham and Steinert for my first uh, year and then got into teaching an engineering program back where I went to high school. And um, I built that up for 10 years and then uh, got the opportunity to come over here to SciPEC, their STEM program, um, worked with that. And throughout that whole time, um, it's all about design and and create. And that that was what was missing from my computer programming education. Um, I was able to understand the, um, the programming languages and I was able to do whatever I wanted to do with them. But I didn't actually have much creativity or understand how to think about what to do in the first place. So all of this experience in STEM and engineering um, really got me uh, a way to be creative. And, and then when I had the opportunity last year to start this computer game programming program, uh, I jumped on it. So this is what I've always wanted. And I now have a, a whole bunch more tools in my belt to be able to bring the kids the, the best education I can. So um, for our program, we get to focus on programming as a concept. I don't a lot of uh, classes will teach programming through a particular language and we use four different languages the first year because we're not learning programming a language, we're learning how to program and we're doing that in a couple of different languages. So Python is a really easy introductory language. Um, it's friendly and um, it's not scary at all. And that gets the kids started. And then we go into Java, which um, is a little bit more intimidating, but once you've been through Python, not so much, it's just Python with some brackets. And then that is a, uh, a direct tie into that um, job search. So it's our uh, industry valued credential is we get the kids certified as Java programmers. Um, we also do some work with game design and that is the, the overarching thing here. We're teaching programming, but we're doing it under the lens of game design. So we start to use some 
game engines. We have Roblox and Unity that we use the first year, uh, and then we get into Unreal Engine and Godot the second year. So we're really having the kids use industry standard um, software to create design and, and create games. And um, uh, it goes through programming, um, but it also then goes through uh, game design. So if you can program a game, you can program anything. And uh, these kids, hopefully when they have come through that, they're ready to head out and, uh, and get internships and, and get degree, uh, get careers, perhaps go into a four-year program to get a degree, uh, but they'll have the, the skills that they need to be successful in the industry. Yeah. Well, you know, Sam, you are doing an amazing job. I've had the, you know, uh, wonderful opportunity of coming in to observe your class. And, uh, you know, uh, as part of of your observations, uh, you know, your kids that are able to develop these games and, you know, even explain how they did it to me is just remarkable. Um, You know, the one program that I actually came in to see, I think it was a Roblox uh, program that the kids were actually uh, designing their own game. And they had to talk about how they designed the game, and, you know, uh, how they came up with the ideas to design the game, what program or software they used to do it. So you're doing an amazing job. And I think you should, you know, uh, feel really good about what you're doing. And that leads me over to Tyler. Tyler, what are you thinking about NCTS and, and computer gaming? I enjoy MCT- I enjoy MCTS a lot. It has given me opportunities to grow in knowledge that I had already knew. Um, before I came here in my past two years in high school, um, my freshman year, I took computer science A and I started to, you know, build my knowledge on computers and computer programming. And my sophomore year, I built up on that again, taking AP computer science A and I got a four on the AP test and I was getting really into it. And I've been always interested in computers and gaming in my life. And my high school, um, I go to Hamilton High West, and they cut out a fourth computer science program. So I was only going to be able to take one more for my junior year, and I was going to be left out without having something for my senior year. And I believe it was either March or May, my computer science teacher came up to me, and she offered me this program and told me that it was in the stages of getting approved. So I applied, I jumped the gun at it because I was like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I love gaming and I love computer science. So mixing the two together, I took the opportunity to get to learn what that would be like. And I love it here. I I get to create games and I also get to play games to like study them and learn Mm. aspects of them I could use in my own game. And I also get to develop and like build upon the lot knowledge I have of programming already, which is amazing. And a lot of this stuff is um, beginner level. So for someone that doesn't have the knowledge like me, they can come in and enjoy it just as much. And for me, it's just a lot of review and it's also building upon it. So it's not just beginner level. It also does go into the more advanced stuff. So someone that does have the knowledge could enjoy it as well. And that is great for me. That's awesome, Tyler. It sounds like you're right on, you're well on your way um, in this industry and you're going to have enough skill set, enough knowledge to be able to go into this, to this industry. Um, and that's a, that's a really good thing. And that's really our goal here, right? Is to prepare you guys to make sure you're ready to go um, post-secondary high school. So it sounds like you're ready to do that, man. And I'm very happy and thrilled that you enjoy MCTS the way that you do, and that the experiences that you're getting from Mr. Chilkatowski are those that you can remember for the rest of your life. Yes. Yeah. So, Mr. Warren, I think it's about that time, man. I I got one question for you, though. These gentlemen talked about how good it is to be here at MCTS. Why do you think it's so good here at MCTS? Hey, it's clear. It's whenever... You know, you uh, get the chance to call yourself a wizard. You know that magic happens here. (laughs) Yes, it does. 